Welcome back, Guardian. I apologize for the lack of content. Like it, like what usually happens, I get burnt out, and I'm just gonna say fuck the YouTube voice, because I'm just gonna be really blunt about it. Some people are gonna take me the wrong way and think I'm an asshole, and other people are gonna get it because they've been following me for a while and know that I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And what I'm really talking about in this video is how to untrain all these crappy freaking taught blueberries that aren't even crappy players, but just has started the game watching the wrong content creator that doesn't even know how to beast in this game, instead of listening to somebody's advice who's never been out slayed in this game, as shitty as that sounds, I don't really give a fuck anymore. So, I'm gonna walk you through a strike, play by play, I'm gonna be calling plays and strats before they happen to kinda just walk you through it. So, the first strike you're gonna see is one that I actually consider a kind of a rusty strike, it's my first of the night. I'm gonna be calling the plays out and stuff, but it's not my best work. I just wanna like show you what I'm thinking when I'm doing everything and why I use the loadouts that I do and why when I make builds for a specific ad clearing like Grandmaster or Strikes or whatever, they're the go-to, man. Like, I study this in such a level that it would just blow your mind. So, I'm just going to walk through it. I'm going to show you how I put up these insane kill numbers, strike after strike, year after year, since the beginning of Destiny. So, let's get started. This first strike is going to be live in game. Let's get started, and I'll follow up. Everything that I do, alright? So, first, I got to get this kill right here. I always want to start the strike off owning some kills. So I'm already on the board. I, I might leave that third one behind because I don't give a fuck about him. He would lose me speed if I went to him. So now what we're going to do is we're going to land this one Telesto shot in a corner. We're going to do one up front. And then we're going to make a sell when I drop down to the next area. So let's get this going. Got to make sure we land our shots. And that's what mobility is for to guarantee it. Now in the corner, if they make it that far they're fucked now the cell and the explosion of that cell we have one more ad up here we get a melee on him for some super and him for some more super with crown of tempest I'm gonna do a melee here in case I didn't or not melee uh, sympathetic I mean in case I didn't reload my guns with a little trap Boom, hit him, hit him. Now we gotta make this long toss. Are you ready for that mobility? Boom. Gotta have it, bro. You gotta have it, though. Now they're fucked. He chose to use that weapon, which sucks for running gun combat for that obvious reason. Get my super energy off that. Melee. Melee. Reload my shit. Mobility. Stun. Fucking glitched up in the matrix. Get some of that super energy. Alright, we fumbled there. You see the fumble? You recognize the fumble? There's heavy. But I'm gonna leave it because it puts me behind. I'm gonna hit him. Hop here with mobility. Knock them the fuck out. Pick up right here. Still got it. And we got all three going this way, so we're all fighting for it now. Perfect nade. Didn't even have to waste that shot, but if they walked, they got it. Stagger that bitch up, reload my shit, grab that motherfucking ball, we heading up top, though. I'm gonna land that grenade, watch out. Boom, trap them up in a bitch. Melee these motherfuckers up. Now we're gonna risk it right here. Arc resist. Concussive dampener and a bitch. Uh, suck it. Now we're still on the move because our build kicked ass. Here we go, cell time. While we blow rockets up, or cells up with rockets, it's for that reason right there, because we ain't got no time for no fucking kid games. Fuck that dude. Fuck that dude, fuck that dude, we got builds, let him get it, sell action, tried to beat me to it, but you can't beat me to it, making a sell, on this motherfucker, oh no, we're gonna make it right here I guess, no, the game's gonna fuck us, okay, alright, didn't work. Should have made a sell though, definitely. That was just the game being like, alright bro, you're making a little too much sense. 
suck it. Alright, we gotta make the land shot right here. Fucking missed it. It's all good though. Mobility letting us pull the shot off still. He's trying to beat me. Oh, look at that. Get the fuck out of here. I'm about to say. Alright, we got our cell timing perfectly. Here we go. Boom. Can't fuck with this build, dude. It's the fastest fucking build in this bitch. This is my cell, motherfucker. Didn't even have to waste the ammo, but... Got that fucking full bore going to work. Got fast reloading to Lesto. It don't even matter. My shit, bitch. Alright, we gotta make sure we get ahead of that doorway and try to take the night. Here we go. By the time we get to the next area, our discipline is high enough, so we're gonna be able to get that bitch. But by the time I need a grenade, it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be super in here in a minute too, saving it for that specific shrieker moment. And we're gonna be claiming a lot of dudes at that point. Alright, let's fuck this knight up now. No ammo, I usually would take a Telesto here, but it's fine, they're gonna reload me right here. Boom. That grenade ready so that motherfucker don't teleport. Any stragglers, we do the fadeaways on them. There we fucking go. There we go. Alright, this is obviously a win-win. Missed it. It's all good, though. Let's see if I save my super. For right here. For right here. Mm-hmm. Now we want to make sure we get up high. So we jump up in that bitch before anybody. That's why our mobility's for. We get to do it before anybody. They're like, what? That even exists? We don't ever use mobility. Fuck this bitch. And fuck y'all. Oh, this hoe trying to come back to life? What? Oh, fuck it. Give me that ammo. Here's something you can do. If you want to waste the ammo and want to guarantee it, like it's too close, you just do this shit. And you guarantee those. Gotta have the right loadout. If I was doing like a master or something like that, that's where you would get a real good benefit off unrelenting in that moment. Alright, we don't want to use our grenade because we're going to save that for the first door. Beat him to it? Did we beat him to it? Yep. For he just fucked up. Bad move. Boom. Alright, fuck him. Get that health and get that cell. You got options, bro. Where you coming from, bro? Alright, let's get set up for right here. There. This bitch up on my face so I can't see. Alright, it's time to really fucking shred these dudes. Woo! Look at my shit, bitch. Usually the damn boss would be dead by now, so they must be trying to kill it. I don't know what the fuck. But that's how you... Like I said, that was a crappy kind of strike, but you kind of get the idea. Now I'm going to jump into the next strike. I'm going to walk you through it, talk you through it, and explain some little kind of tricks and tips you can do when it comes to facing somebody that also knows how to slay out. So watch how these two other teammates have no idea what to do. 
So right away, I'm throwing rocket. I have alloy casing and impulse amplifier. With unrelenting, we just completely beast on the strike. I actually do use the royal rocket with the void with tracking for the GM version, just for the vehicles. But it's only because I can't find another LFG teammate that can actually pull that strat off right and take the vehicles out quick enough, and somebody's got to play that role. But on this one, there's no way you stand a chance unless you have unrelenting, impulse amplifier, alloy casing, and quick launch god roll. And you'll see all these cells that I'm making as I'm carving my way up the mountain. Now watch this strat here where I'm pre-planning. I am going to plant Celesto on this wall in a second. And then I'm going to move on to the rest of the ads. Reload my weapon with Sympathetic Arsenal with the submachine gun. The ultimate SMG when it comes to strike, GM, anything you're playing. And now here's the after effect because that dude's going to follow you wherever you go, whatever path you take. And he blows himself up right here. Now this next shot, if you're not at a 7-up mobility, I'm going to claim these kills and take them out from under you every single time. And it's this shot right when these ads come out. You jump up high as you can and you have that quick launch for that fast action to fire the thing off and aim it quicker to get the shot off. Now right here, try for the shot even though your SMG is out of range. I'm a firm believer that the more you try for these shots, the better you get at it. And I also don't, I can't prove this, but I do believe that when you try for those shots, the follow-up magazine seems to grant some kind of bonus accuracy with certain barrels, full bore being one of those, and that's why I really like it on this. Here's another GM strategy that I use. I use strikes to practice for GM by learning the ad layout and carving and perfecting my strategies so that every time I do it, I run the same thing over and over again, except in GM version or master version, it might take a few more shots, but the whole scheme of everything is always played out the same. Now here's a finder. Telesto has a 30% chance to drop two. So because of that, I use two rocket scavengers because I know when I need my rockets and where I use my rockets. And here is being able to jump faster, sooner, and higher to target. This is a real thing because if I had lower mobility, I wouldn't be able to jump and get enough momentum boost to get there fast enough to take that shot. That's a real thing in combat that you don't really understand exists until you're with somebody else that does know it exists and they're taking those shots. Now here's me pre-planting again. I plant that trap on the floor because in the GM version, this is actually a phalanx and he jumps right into that and it takes that barrel, the beginning Telesto shot, and that second one to actually kill it. That way you can keep running and gunning and get into place for the second part. Now, no way you're going to play the GM version like you're seeing me right here, but as you watch these strategies, I'm going to be making a hell of cells and blowing everything up, and that's what makes it the fastest thing you can use. And I try all kinds of loadouts, and I hate to say that Telesto and this build and this SMG are the fastest strike guns, because it's kind of just overkill at this point, because I talk about these builds all the time, but unless seasons change and more stuff comes out that's better, it, this is just what it is. I can't help that. You know what I mean? So now here's back to full bore. Because of full bore reaching out further, that, that means I'm always doing more damage in a more outside circumference or radius. So I can start doing more damage sooner than as if I was using arrowhead break, which in this situation would have actually caused me to waste my melee to melee the dog because the game's programmed in this kind of a way and this is what beta testers do they test all the different ranges you're always in combat and if i was using arrowhead break those early shots where i'm outside the range of the weapon would have been such a weaker damage that it would have cost me to actually use my melee to melee the dog and then reload and would have slowed me down slightly so things like that really really do matter they exist in the game though you may not know they exist if you're playing on a legit fire team of some badass motherfuckers, they are going to outslay you and leave you just running around trying to find something to kill the entire time. And I've been building out like this since Destiny 1, once I started entering the strike point race system. And that's, to this day, all I've been doing. This is all I build for. This is why I rocket my cells. It's why I own every room that I enter and why I keep fucking shit up. And again, rocket those motherfucking cells. Because when you're in the flow of combat, other slayers are going to be trying to pop your cells as well. However, they only do about half the damage if it's not their own cell they created. Now I want to show you this situation of the handling that this fusion rifle or any fusion with high handling will give you. And that's these sweep shots, which Telesto is notorious for. So I don't see this ad until the last second, but as I'm firing it, I'm able to still drag it over there and still catch a ray on that dude. And the explosion of Telesto is awesome, so it still kills it in strike versions, however. Now I want to show you this insane rocket shot that only these type of rockets can do. This is why I use these. 
Watch how I'm able to drag the rocket where I need it to go and how easy I can sway with it. You can only do this with max blast, max handling, and that fast ass reload to get the rocket back in to get back to doing whatever you're about to do after that situation happens. And this is again why you rocket themselves because when you're in the flow of combat, you don't have time to stop and then start trying to, you know, pink away with your primary weapon or whatever. It's a fight to the very end until the boss is dead. So go ahead and knock that shit out. That way you can keep flowing around the map. And then if you do get busted, this is again why you rocket those MFing cells. It doesn't matter if I pop the cell because unrelenting is still going to heal me off that yellow bar. But that cell with Fire Team Medic and Global Reach is going to be doing the same with Rage of the Warmind. And then I combine all that with Warmind's Decree up until Master Level, and then I replace Wrath with Warmind's Protection. With that awesome Reload My Shit Sympathetic Arsenal. Your time to kill is everything when it comes to this. Like, how fast you're killing stuff, especially in GM Sense or Master Sense even. I still see people trying to rock these weak ass auto rifles in Master Nightfalls and still trying to rock, you know, even Salvo, which Salvo is decent, but not if you know better. It's one of those weapons. Like, you don't realize how crappy that gun is until you get on the team with somebody that really understands how crappy that gun is. And then you're stuck and you're not getting that chain reaction unless it's a pile up in a doorway somewhere. It's fantastic in public events and override modes and, you know, battlegrounds or some shit like that. Yeah, it's going to work really great. But when you have targets that aren't going to die off that one grenade launcher, you're not going to be getting those chain reactions because it's going to take you around two shots on some ads. You're going to be popping those things past the ads, which is a huge risk in running on combat. But I'm not trying to pick on Salvo. It's also, you know, people trying to watch Esoteric do a, a Risk Runner solo or something like that. And they think that they can use the Risk Runner the same way. And it's like, he does the same shit that I do. He just knows locations and knows the cheese spots. He knows all the areas you got to stand in. And he builds his loadout according to what he's going to be doing the entire time. Same as I do when it comes to ad clear. I'm building out to be the slayer on the team and nothing else. This is the, the most fun role you can do on the team, basically. And I want to study that until I know the absolute fastest way to do things and carve my way around a map. The same way Esoteric knows how to survive using the loadout he's using for that specific strategy. If you're using Risk Runner and not doing his strategy, you're not going to be using it the same way he was using it. Same when it comes to knowing how to use Telesto, or know how to use a rocket launcher, or knowing when to claim ads to heal yourself with unrelenting, and also alloy casing, impulse amplifier, fast as shit, reload my weapons with sympathetic arsenal, Telesto making cells, fire team medic, rage of the war mine, wrath of Rasputin. Now my complaint with all that is I get burnt out on using Telesto sometimes, and I wish they would evolve into some more ad clear role exotics that are better than what's been out. There really hasn't been a better exotic for that role since Telesto. I don't know if that's because they're trying to slow the game pace down or what, but they kind of just top it off at that point. Now let's jump into another strike. Again, like I said, this will be live in game, but if you think Dragonfly is good for Master Chair activities, you need to get on that explosive game to really know. Some of the dialogue is in game, but not this one. But I want to show you the damage with the hip fire by having Hedron's proc and also bonus damage with a primary fragment. I can't think of the name of it. That shit crushes oh, right now for this oh, season. Oh, what the hell? It wouldn't let me revive. And then explosive rounds do over 16% body damage to majors and boss targets, and about 9.5% to crit across all other type of targets. Explosive rounds are really there with you 100% uh, of the time. They don't ever fall off in damage. That Even the range, the explosive part, doesn't have damage fall off on it. Right, he's down. So if you add damage specs, the one you prefer, like a major or a boss or a minor spec, on top of that, with 30% head drawn damage, with the fragment that does more damage to frozen targets, it's a ton of fucking damage for a primary weapon. But if you're listening to some dude talking about Dragonfly for farming and to get and to use in GM or Master anywhere except Patrol. Shot for fuck wads right here, hang on. Why are, they're just making you waste shots for no extra reason because when you're on a legit ass team, the combat's going to go by so fast. You're not going to get very many times where you're pulling your primary out and trying to get Dragonfly to go on. And don't waste your energy slot using a primary weapon. I see so many people doing that, I just don't understand it. All it does is it turns into more work on other people because they're not able to kill anything and their time to kill is so slow and they're just getting dragged and pushed back out of combat while people are having to use more ammo of their own to take care of the ads you couldn't take care of. Now let's move on to the final strike. This will be live in gameplay and I'm pretty sure this guy was trying to sweat. He's rocking Telesto also, so you'll see how this goes. I'm basically just talking shit. He was like, damn, I got my ass whooped. 
mobility for the claim. Look at his handling right over the lip. Boom, right last second. Just enough handling to pull that shit. Your heretic is not doing that. Fuck that explody shank. Waste of super. Keep it going forward. Keep it going. Right here. I'm gonna keep that super energy coming back. Just enough. Now it's time for some unrelenting action. Old dude glowing in Eye of Another World helmet. Also a beast exotic on the best warlock GM exotic is Eye of Another World. Especially with stasis. <laughs> this dude's trying. Trying to do early takeoff. Watch mobility in the electric hallway. It's OV, bruh. Rocket the cell because you want to get it before they do and then end up screwing your whole cell strat up. Bro, what the fuck? You're going to hear live gameplay mixed with me talking now, but watch the Telesto traps from the other player. This dude trying to roll with me on Telesto. You know I'm the king of it, bro. He tries to time it on the door, as I do, but then I had to shoot at the right time so that I take it. This is also a real thing. Comes to strategy. Faster is better. Let me go. Let me boost on through. Let me boost. Woo! Icarus grip in the motherfucking house. He is not gonna stay after this match, ladies and gentlemen. coming on, boy. I don't know about all that, no. Bet they don't pick me up. Oh, he knows better. He knows better. He knows his. There's no way he can come back. He will not pick me up. <laughs> what up? Let's go. Blast radius. Blast radius. Bitch ass. Let's just fucking go. Ruin this dude. Alright, let's see. Is he gonna fucking respect it? Is he gonna respect it? Let's see if he dips. Ooh, he respected it. You went close, bruh. King of Telesto right here. Alright, let's take it into Warden of Nothing. So pay attention to these agile shots. Every weapon, any loaded I choose, when it comes to serious business, it ain't gotta be the Telesto, but when I'm trying to be agile and ad clear, it's gotta have those type of shots where I can just turn around and paint the freaking targets. Now, nade here. Perfect strategy nade. We should be making a cell right here, and that's gonna kill everybody, and we got a lucky blast on it. Now, moving on to the hollowed lair. Same thing here. Still rocking out with Ivan of the World, and still busting these damn cells down to just freaking blow everything to fucking pieces. Large blast radius, gonna take out more ads per rocket, not wasting your rockets, and also giving you those precise. Don't matter how you're moving, pinpoint rockets every freaking time. And we're going to blow everybody up with that cell. But all this is just a part of knowing your build. If you put the same build on and don't know how to play with this build, you don't know when to whip out Telesto, when to use Sympathetic Arsenal and Think Fast Moments to keep your slaying going, even the barrel on your gun, full bore, being able to reach longer targets with more damage, I'm covered with every utility that I need to be able to pull these strats off as fast as I can. Here's a shortcut to the boss if you've never seen this. As if you're just trying to beat somebody there just for the sake of beating them. It's right here on this flag kind of little thing. Just right there. As soon as you get to it, let go of jump. He'll automatically mantle. And then don't move. Just jump straight up and then forward. And you'll make it every time. If you try to jump forward right when you get on it, you'll get hung up and you'll fall. 
Watch me crouch reload using drop mag and fill prep on friction fire. Right as the ammo finder falls from my rocket. It's important to learn crouch reload jump or crouch reload. Instantly reload on my weapons without even having to think about it. it just becomes second nature. Crown of Tempest with bottom tree arc is actually faster. You just start out in the middle, slam the ground, and then just start vacuum cleaning every ad here. But I didn't have that loadout on, unfortunately, so you just start planting those Telesto traps and just keep planting the floor down, and then they naturally are going to just die. So that's, again, Telesto Besto, and then made with a bunch of different cells after that that will just keep blowing everybody up, and then save the last one for the boss DPS. The longer you get into speed killing, the more experience you get with it. It eventually just becomes like an OCD thing. Like, you see ads, and you would want to just slay them faster and don't let anybody else touch them kind of thing. That's kind of what it grows to over time. And, and then you get interested in the data of the game, how to etch seconds off your times, and, you know, just every little tiny bit of thing matters. I should just name the video Everything Matters, because that's really what this is about, and how you can't waste that space. Know the data. Once you cross over into the side of the game where there's things you really just can't explain, it's just experience, You'll start calling bullshit on a lot of people. I talked about this in like one of my very first guides, but boss melee counter, he's about to stomp. Just melee the same time he does, and then you can negate getting blown backwards. But Guardian, that's really about it. If you stuck through to the very end, it means you really do give a shit about becoming a beast. And also, as I've said in my past videos, get within 20, actually get within 40, and I will post you in the next video as one of the beast. Now, I also talked about my Discord doing the fashion contest. Who had the tightest looking most fashionista Guardian on the catwalk in the Discord? So, I was tied between three really, really good ones, but... I felt like Psylocke the Defiled, his just had a good combination of what I was kind of just looking for for the very first one, which was all about that flare, and I felt like he nailed it spot on. So if you want to join this, all you got to do is go to my About section, click on Discord, Become Beast, chat with all of us daily, and also post your badass looking guardian, and if it's one of the ones I think are the tightest, I'll put a pick up and you'll get a freaking shout out, bro. You're going to be famous, so I'll see you there. But on the real though, Guardians, if you do want to see more content, please feel free to support the channel that promotes more content, basically. You can do small donation, you can go to Teespring, buy some merch, you can even just share my video to get more word out there, because honestly, the player base is really starting to fall apart, especially with these new, slower type weapons that are really just good for that $10 seasonal event, and then outside that, yeah, they're okay, but you're still kind of at a struggle most of the time. Bungie just adds some more Telesto-esque type, just mass add slay weapons, and stay on that path. But I understand not everybody wants to get into hardcore type content, and that's why a lot of people enjoy these basic ass builds. But if they only knew what was on the other side of the basic build, man, because that's where the game really starts to really become fun and really just pull you in to where you start caring about every little tiny detail and you want to crush harder than your teammates and you want everybody to look at that end screen without going to orbit like you know they do. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, this is pretty much what I talk about is how to slay harder in this game. We're in best in-game builds, how to build your stats out right, how to make everything perfecto, and how to farm out that right gear so you can make it perfection. But anyways, if you enjoyed it, like I said, join the B squad, or hit up a like button, or share some content, and you decide where the future of this player base heads. But I'll see you all on the next video next time. In space.